Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hi everybody, welcome to the second game of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. This next matchup, we're ready to send you down to the Western Conference. It's the Oilers and the Golden Knights. As the Oilers make a win over the Golden Knights on their start win with a great score inbound. They have a 1-0 lead over the Golden Knights, and we'll see what they can do if they can get back into work to do two games at work. But what will the Golden Knights do? They'll have to find out if they can get a win to tackle it up to tie the series in between. The last game was the Toronto Maple Leafs. They had the extension 2-0 run over by the Florida Pampers. But now, let's find out what goes here. Standing by with the next commentary I will have is All You Call For, Boomer, along with Lightbulb, and Center Ice will be everything of Paintbrush. See you all later for the post game show, and now let's get you here. Guys, it's all yours. We will head you down to Canada at Edmonton at Rogers Place. Let's do it. Hi everybody, Boomer here. Welcome back to a Stanley Cup Playoffs. This is game two as we're heading you back down to Rogers Place. It's another rematch in between the American team and the Canadian team. We are about to get this thing started here at Edmonton, Canada. As me, Lightpole, along with the center right position of Paintbrush, this is NHL on the EA Sports coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Start things on a run as Hill takes a cover save. Hill is your starting goaltender for the Golden Knights, and Skinner is your starting goaltender for the Edmonton Oilers. Leon Dreisaitl has a tank to take zone ability that has all of it courtesy down. He made that win a lot of us to make it quite possible to go with another choice ability if he does one. And yes, of course you may notice that Mark Jonathan Marginsaw has an ultimate closing quarters of the period. He sometimes does that one so, so he can try and defend that one and get right to the point. I have a lot of it too right in between of Jonathan Marginsaw and of course now, Leon Dreisaitl, we'll find out who takes one here. Back to you. Here, CC now has it over to get a high man. He now has it again to Dreisaitl. On a shot range, stopped again by Gill. 18.30 left to go in the first period. Still settling it down for his scores as this one comes in to start things on a process. Yeah, yeah. I always say that this one's going to be a slowdown to take. But everyone you got to call for it, just don't take advantage of it. You can always slow it down whenever you want to. Here's a video with the puck. Moving in for along the way, now by Stephenson. He went down. CeCe's got the puck, and now over it again to Nugent Hopkins. He now has it over into the right wing, and he gives it to Kane. On a shot, this one's broken up by Bertrangelo. Here he comes right toward the wing. To get it through the middle, this one's broken up. Bertrangelo shot! What a save by Skinner. 17.30 left to remain in the first period. As there's still a lot of time left in the first period. Now they're ready to do this one again. Still no score to game. Nugent Hopkins wins the faceoff. He went down, trying to humble it over. Jam Marks got it over again to Eppel. The Oilers regain their group into the Vegas territory. They go around Feeder. It doesn't take over again. He's all alone now. Goals are up. What a save by Skinner. That's what happens now. He has been working his way down, and I'm totally noticing that you can definitely save it all if you can. But that's what all that hard one comes in by. Just do your best at it. Vegas wins the faceoff as Fever will have it. Four Joe will have that puck taken away. Fires it around the net. McNapp's got that puck. Right toward the back slot as he gives it off to Roy. Roy try to watch over right now. Try to get to the middle. Skinner makes a save. Ekholm's got that puck, now finds Fojo. Fojo will have that puck carried in there. You begin to McCloy. Shot blocked. McCloy lost that puck again. 
And now Fido will have it. Fido taking it over his time with 15.30 left to go. He finds Kulsar. Kulsar spins it around, now finds Cotter. Shot saved made by Skinner. And whenever you do a lot of possible, it takes a lot of necessary to get this ball of chance. It's really like what they don't do is like, they don't show it often respectively. Possibly, it's not what they really wanted to do. They've got to try to figure something else out. Hopefully they can definitely do it. Here's just with the puck. Now was it over in the middle. This one's stopped by White Cloud. White Cloud lost that one here as King will have it back. Give again to Dijon Hawkins. Now he gets again to CeCe. Loses the puck and now Higgy will have it over again to Bryson. He goes with the slam down. Edmonton are back into the offensive zone. CeCe has it over to cross into the Oilers territory. Now find Dijon Hopkins. Kane in the corner, battling for the board. The Golden Knights will have their opportunity advantage, and now Bryson will have it. He gets crumbled over, as CeCe will have it back. Give it again to Jamrock. Jamrock went down. Try to hold it in between for Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins by CC shot is blocked. Carlson on his way down. 13-15 remaining in the first period. Take his own time. Skinner takes his glove save, and this one stopped in. 13.06 to go. Easier said than done, and you always have to do is just try to cover it up. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score of the game between Vegas and Edmonton. Vegas wins the faceoff. Takes the tumble down. Desharnas, F. Stephenson has one. Saved it off the pad by Skinner. Here comes McDavid. Shoots! Saved by Kill. Now back to Marinus, again to Stephenson. Stephenson gets blocked up. Kulak's got that puck, now finding again to Dreisaitl. And now have it over again to Desharnas. Desharnas will have it in. Saved off of the pad by Hale. McDavid again to Dreisaitl shot. That one almost went to flick it in there, but this one stayed out of the air. Well, it's not going to be like a, a closing range in there, but you can't let that happen already. Because if something goes bad, you might want to just try to like defend yourself. Don't try to get away with that. Wow, what a big takedown over here in the center ice. And you know, I'm with you now. <laughs> that is going to be a hit for the worst. Blue Hawks got that puck now, finally getting the parry. Barry in the right wing shot. Blocker stop made by Spike Hill. Barry's got one. That went wide. Off the defender and now for gel again. With the shot. Trying to put over a rebound, but it's Hill taking it over. And it's now nearing the midway mark of the period. And the win puts in for the Vegas Golden Knights as Fedor will have it. McNabb has that puck, now back into the Oilers territory. Loose possession, now finds Bouchard. Bouchard will now have it again. At home, now finding Ed McCloy. Or just shot, left save by Aiden Hill. It's really like a hard advantage over there because that one almost got a goal. That was going to be like a hard one, you can take. And Skinner grabbed that puck in the chest. Past the midway mark of the period in the first. They're really like a tough team. I mean, another USA versus the Canadian team. Let's keep on coming down. Now the win puts up again here for, for the Oilers and now again to Brown. Edmonton back into the uh, Vegas territory. Brown trying to cut in slot. Hill makes a stop. Under siege here as 19 remains in the first period, ready for taking face off. Never win for Martinez. Your speed or you will have that puck now racing towards the other slot. Right toward to the wing. Saved again by Skinner. That really has to be like a close call in that range. This was nowhere luck. Try to keep that one out of sight. They pluck it off right towards the board, and now McNabb will have it. McNabb swings again to March itself. On the attacker along the range, inside the road, makes a glove save by Skinner. 
Oh, what a stop, man. I really like when Skinner takes that one with his full recovery. Take it all when you can, because that's what you can do to have that save coming by. Getting close, get it done, get a time right. The Edmonton Oilers wins another faceoff as Bouchard will have that kicked over now again to Eugene Hopkins. Brings their team to cross it out. Bowling is scrumming along the board. Give it again to March itself. Good stop again by Skinner. And Bryson will have it again to White Cloud, now again to Higgier. On a sh again to Carlson, now White Cloud shot. Good block! As he went down, trying to look for some in medical room. Higgier lost that one. S.J. Mark will have it. Higgier's lost that one here as Bryson gives it over. Kicking the puck in the range. Try to take that one out of gear in the center ice. Marcus Holtz got to recover. He's right toward the center. This one stopped again by Bouchard and now find Jammar. In toward the corner, looking for an open player. Roy to Marjasol, he scores! What a good dish off here. The closing run turns in for the Vegas on a start. Or in game two, one nothing. You know what the pass does happen right now because of Roy giving to Marjasol that quickly he made that one going right over to Skinner. After he had that where you suggested, watch what happens. Marcus Salt got an open screen look. Got that good play inbound. That's what happens now. Vegas got that good first goal. Take it from here. Now McCoy wins the faceoff and now Perry will have it. Perry tries to go in the middle. Marcangelo takes that stop. Cotter's got that puck and now over again to Roy. Roy over again to Kolsar. Shoots! Sand it goes in! Kolsar with his first power play goal. That'll be his 19th goal of the seat of the career of his NHL. And he had that one extension 2-0. When that one, Kolsar just made that one fire inbound. That is a great screenplay that you have to get that one going over. That's what happens because of that one went right toward the chest and that was in right toward the net. It was not really stable enough. It didn't help it at all. That one got in there in no time. So it knows the score right now as this one comes in for the Vegas Golden Knights to start this off. And now Martinez will have that puck again. Looking over to Roy. And now Skinner grabs that puck stop. 5.51 remaining in the first period, still looking for a chance to get another face-off win for the Edmonton Oilers. Another win for Vegas Golden Knights, and now Petrangelo will have it. Try to step it along the board, and this one goes out of play. Rochelle again to CeCe. CeCe now over it again to McLeod. McLeod trying to take the puck over. Martin has went down. Wilson's got that puck here, trying to look over again over to Petrangelo. Now find Martinez. Now he finds a swing over. He went down. Oh, that big slam down puts him in the bodies and away. There's really going to be a hard one to take. Flash collision course. They're heavy takers. That's what the new, that's what the Newton's law generation turns to be. Like it's a colliding into in between. A triangular try to go in between. If you get close right to it, that's going to be a hard hit. And a nice stop made by Skinner. He tries to take the puck out. And now have it over to get the Perry. Ooh, Perry went down. And this one goes back the airway to the Vegas Golden Knights. Stephenson lost that puck as he recovers it back on. Firing around the net. CC. Now has it over to get the dry sidle. Trying to look for some goal in between McDavid's shot. This one stopped by Aiden Hill. Two-time stop behind McDavid. Dry side up. Blocked a shot. Here's Fudor. Three minutes remaining in the first period. And this one goes back to again to Emidio. He now holds it over to again to Barbashev. Nurse has that one in there. And Hyman will have it over to again to McDavid. Take the shot in between. It's blocked. McDavid now again to CeCe. CC again, McDavid shot saved me by Gill with 2.21 to go. Nearing down the final minute in the, in the first period, 
An early lead puts in for a 2-0 hockey game as the Vegas up by two. And now Shea Vudor will have his own puck range. Now racing in towards the Edmonton slot. Give again to Carlson. Shot saved by Skinner. Edmonton's got the puck in transition. Now goes now to Lujan Hopkins. Cutting from the wing. Look for the slot. Jam Mark and Bounty scores. That's your first goal look here for the Edmonton Oilers. They are now on the board. Welcome back, here, Mateus Danmark. Give that one in for the playoff goal. Give it a try. A nice drive in bounty here because that's when Nugent Hopkins got a third eye in this look to get into Janmark. And that pass turned to be like Janmark's idea. He got that good cut in motion and he got that beaten over by Aiden Hill. The Oilers are now on the board. It's a 2 1 game nearing a 90 second mark. And now they pass it here as the Oilers wins an hour face off. And now he's a take for Nugent Hopkins. Takes a 2 0. That one stopped by Gill. There's no other choice that's going to ever happen like that because that's going to be a little difficulty if they can get there close. We are under a minute remaining in the first period and now Kane will have it. Kane swings again to Nugent Hopkins. He tries to look for more and Jamrock will have it. Shot! That one's saved again by Gill. White Cloud given back to Carlson with 20 seconds in the first. Off to win it! That one's saved again by Skinner. They're really on to a tight range in that. Be careful. Brown takes him to shoot and won't get there in time as the first period expires. Two ones to score after jam mark with the third eye by Nugent Hopkins. Looking to get that goal for next one. Be back after this. Welcome back to Edmonton of the Stanley Cup playoffs, and we're about to get this thing underway here in Edmonton. And we're back and ready to get right through rolling. As we start things off here with a two-on-one score, let's have your take here, like folks, of your first recap of the period. They really are well into that one. A lot of currency has been doing a lot of changes in between the years, and this was not what they have always been doing it for the Edmonton Oilers. They've been are struggling in it for that. Every since in between, they played against the Canadian team sometimes here in between. But sometimes they played here for the Battle of Alberta. They've been really are in, like, they're both near each other. They played it from far. But sometimes it doesn't really help to make that one go for the living. So hopefully on that game, they might get there at uh, thought. What a great save by Aiden Hill, and now Bryson has it over to get a march it so. He has it over to get down here to cross here, right on the right side of a wing. For the middle slot, he scores. Two goals in the game for Jonathan march it so. He has it now with a close, first close quarter in the game near Skinner. He just made that with a lot of slivering move. He just made that one into the corner of the net. And he's saying, I think I'm going to go for it. And he just really went right there in. And he just got the close quarter. Just got that good slight option. I mean, that's what happens now. They're at the extension up here. 3-1 over the Edmonton Oilers. And now he is it over again to McNabb. McNabb swings again to Bryson. Bryson tries it over and he goes down. And now back again to Brooks. Nurse gets again to Hyman. Hyman went down. Theodore will have the puck over it again to Bryson. And now he finds again to Carlson. Carlson got bumped out. And now here's the puck. Right down here away for the attacker. Now finds Pike using Hopkins. And he goes with the shot. This one gets blocked out here by Aiden Hill. And now Nurse will have it. In between the legs, this one stopped again. McNabb has the puck now with 17-17 to go in the second period. In toward the back, near the board, North got to begin a jam mark. Jam mark on its way right down towards the left wing. Theodore will have it back. 16-45 left to remain in the second period. Try to get it inside, and this one's been stopped again. Boutroyd's got that puck. Now finds again a Nugent Hopkins over to get an echo. Echo tries to get over to get that shot, and this one's been blocked off. As another save puts up by Aiden Hill. 
and there is a tripping call that's going to be on Edmonton Oilers. Ooh, it might be the boarding call. I think that is true. Yeah, I think that's going to be like that. Evander King didn't really think he was going to like that one. So he's been complaining all the time, and it was for his reasons that might be happening to most of it, and that was going to be a fumble boarding call. And you're going to have to pay for that one with respect. Now to win for the Vegas Golden Knights, he will give the Connor shot, stop by Skinner. What a stop may come in, and this one starts things with the first penalty kill for the Edmonton Oilers. You know, you clearly are going to get that one in there because if something happens now, you really do not want to get that one defended up. Shot stopped again by Skinner. Barbashev to Connor, he scores! Now they're on the board with the power play goal as Barbashev got a good pass to Paul Cotter. Yeah, that's a quick move and there is a great goal for Paul Cotter. After that happened to be Barbashev and now he has it over to Cotter, he just really made that one a goal. One time ticks it all and that's what he does now. Tick that one in there, you get that one good. A better play in offensive on the boards as the Vegas Golden Knights are up ahead. It's a 4-1 game. Now Martin Ness will have that puck down fine again. This one's stopped. Amidia's got that puck. Right towards the left wing. This one gets stuffed out and back to Skinner again. Sevenson now gives it again to Amidia. Over and under. Sevenson shot. Skinner saving six to save. Over and under. That's why it's stopped under 15.30 to go. Now the others will have their chance if they can get the Golden Knights back in the airway. Now the win for the Vegas Golden Knights. Try to give again to Bertrangelo. Bertrangelo on the move with a shot stopped by Skinner. Oh, that was a great play here. And this one was a heads up collision. <laughs> My. If that happens right now, I would be so shocked if this wasn't in, in a close call. Now along the board, now finally looking over. Carpus got that bucket, now finally getting to Roy. Roy on his way down, gets crushed down. McLeod again to Echo, again to Perry. And Perry now will fire it out right into the Golden Knights territory. And Petrangelo will have it again to Pulsar. He now has it over to Cotter. Under 14 minutes remaining in the second period, it's trying to look for Roy. That shot's blocked. This one puts a save here again by Skinner. Perry again to Ephraim and now again to Forgel. Oh, that was a big hello moment. And he went offside. You know what happens now because that's a big fight off in the center ice. That is the biggest hit. Yep, you can definitely saw that one there coming. That was like a biggest hit. That was going to like take over the fight. That would almost have been like a boarding call, but it didn't seem like he didn't care. Face off win for Edmonton Oilers. Now Nurse is in the, in the middle of the box. Tries to shoot. This one goes up and over the net. Martinez will have that puck in racing out. Now back into the Oilers territory. Make his way down already again to the post. And this one's stopped again by Skinner. Now Nurse will have it. 12.40 left to go in the first second period on the cutting bound. What a save again by Gill. The Chancellor now finds again to Morelli. Morelli over now into the right wing. Try to take the puck away. Morelli's got that puck. Now back to the other side. This one has been kicked out of here by Skinner. CeCe's got the puck. Now find again to McDavid. McDavid goes swinging into the, in the home bench and he's off the ice. Yeah, he wants to make it up a good call. I mean, I mean, he wants to step out for some reasons. I mean, this has gotten pretty, really dang for sure. Video shot, saved by Skinner. 11.22 to remain in the second period. Still looking to get a 4-2 score to come back in. As the teams are ready to prepare for the faceoff, it's still a 4-1 game. Another win for the Jonathan Marchitsall, and now McNabb has it. That shot takes wide, and CeCe will have that puck game cleared out. CC plies it over again with Jam Mark. Now he gets to Kane. Shot! This one's knocked off with the puck. Loose chain. Kane gives it again to CC. 
CC Decane, shot blocked. Stephens and Bally along the board. Try to take advantage here as Amidio has that puck cover recovery. Right toward the middle line by Marbuchev. Shot put glove by Skinner. You know, an easier fact right now because what happens to Skinner, you got to have that puck in there. You just got to make a good save. Just got to keep it going on that. Now they're ready to do this one again. It's still coming to be a 4-1 game for the Vegas Golden Knights. Off to another win for the Knights. This one stopped again. Bouchard's got that puck. Now there's your Hopkins. We'll have it over to Andy Kane. Okay, looks to get the echo. No points. Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins on the shot. This one's knocked out by Eden Hill. And he's going to have to cover up for a whistle with under 9.345 to remain in the second period. Pass the midway mark. Yeah, it's pretty easy right now. Got to make sure you cover that puck there quickly because if something happens, you're going to get robbed out of here. Theodore now has it over to get to Bryson. Bryson trying to look again at much of so. Over and out of the shot. This one's stopped again. Much of so finds McNabb shot. Murray Gagner will give it again to Brown. Brown now finds Ekholm, gives it again to Bouchard. Bouchard now finds Gagner. Gagner swings across, now finding shot. There's the number room, and this one's saved again by Hill. Ekholm! Deep fire range, stopped again by Hill. Hill tries to cover up with that one as he denies that shot. Oh, what a great offensive effort here. I would love to know that this would almost be like a deflection in there for some reason. So this was like the biggest, closest ever that would you ever do for yourself. Try to keep that one going in mind because that was like a hard one you could take. Richard missed that shot. McTavid gets pushed back. And now we have the time right now, passing the midway market period, still 4-1 game. Now the Lynn puts up here for the Vegas Golden Knights as Martin S gets again over Chandler. Bruce will have that puck here, now give again to Morrell. Back and bound, and he scores! Dennis Sanko! Had that first goal in range. Well, there's that problem now because he was right toward the middle. He just had that bad stop, but he couldn't control how to cover that one with the stop. He couldn't figure out if he was going to get it in close enough, but that one got robbed. And yes, definitely what happens now because then Senko really had that one goal. That's going to take a lot of practice to do it on his own because if he doesn't do well enough, he got so much robbed out of him. He's going to have to try to figure it out another way if he gets there. He scores! Leon Dreisaitl. First goal in the playoffs. Now has 307. That will be his first range in game two. Yeah, there you go. That's what you can tell on that four. Hit that goal box. Then punch it in there by Hill. And that's where you can get there. That four. You go for number one. The assistant captain has received that one with his first goal. As right now it's still coming down under 7-3 to go as Hyman gives that one an assist along with McDavid. Here's Bouchard, now find Hyman shot. On a rebound and again, this one over the net. And this one goes right back to the Vegas zone, to the Edmonton zone. Dennis Zanisenko going down as Hyman will have it over. 6.45 left to remain in the second period. And he lost that fuck control as Martinus has it back. Now it's Hyman. He loses that one. Drysaddle has that puck here. Now back into the uh, the corner of the wall. Now CC will have it over. Poked it out. The Trangelo's got that puck with six minutes going by in the second period. And now Bolsar will have it over here on the right side of the wing. Tries to look for a paint. Near that center of the board. That one gloves it up by Skinner. Here's your Hopkins on skiing. And a save puts up by Gill. Two times stop. Oh, what a great play inbound here for Aiden Hill. It could be another change up if you can go for it again. I have a lot of courtesy to make the feeling because if Aiden Hill really was able to do a lot of saves, that earlier range might have been taking a lot too much uncomfortable. Right? 
he might have been, uh, don't take the failure of that. Or, yeah, why not? Hit the goalpost outside. My dad finds again the Theodore. That deflected off the skater, and this one goes right toward the wall, and now he finds it again at Gosar. Puck leaves his own as Theodore tries to regroup. Now finds Cotter. Cotter right toward in the wing. Near the slot. Gosar! Pat saved by Skinner. Jamar finds Nurse. Nurse tries to bring it over to get to CC, and now again to Kane. Kane to score it! Save the golf by the pad by Steve Hill. Jammer hits the board, now finds again the stepping set. Stephenson trying to make his way down right towards the right wing, and this round goes slammed down. Kane's back on board on the ice. Media will have it over to get a feeder, and now again a rubber shot. Three for three left to remain in the first second period, as now Mario will have it. Skinner makes a stop. 3.17 left to remain in the second period, as there's still lots of time left here before the end of the period comes by. Now the win puts him again here for the Vegas Knights. And a shot saved me again by Skinner. Peter, what a save me by Skinner. Now Perry will have it. Perry right into the right wing and now into left and now Fyodor will have it back. Try to stop that one puck inbound and Barbershev will give it again to Armenia. Armenia will have that puck into the right wing. Try to cut in from deep. Armenia tries it over. He got fumbled down. That goes on Echo. That one's going to be a hard one that there is a lot of great defensive takedowns already. I mean, there is a lot of holding ones. Don't get interference if you can get that far. Never big saved by, by Ian Hill. Shoots! That one went wide and missed the net. White Cloud's got that puck. You're in a 90 second mark in the second period. 5 2 score. Goes up into overhand. He does more than will have it. Gloves up by Skinner. He went and you all saw that one coming in again because that one happens to, Jet, to Skinner. He just really makes sure he can get that one right away because if he doesn't have that one with much room, and he can't take that save right away. And now White Cloud over to give him over to Hagu. Hagu lost that puck and Soloway will have it. One minute remaining in the second period as Brown will have it. Hagu loses the puck in range and now Carlson will have it. Again, now find White Cloud. Now he gives it again to Bryson. 40 seconds in the second period of the game and Bryson is all alone. This one leads us out the mark as Carlson rebounds the puck. Goes down on the, on the ice. Echo gives it again to Brown. 20 seconds remaining in the second period. Shoot! Save again by Gill. There's a lot of great attackers there. Try to time it as you can. Don't try to get that one over on yourself. Carlson shoots, and just as you know it, he makes a save, and that ends the second period. 5 2 to score. Looking to see if the Vegas can tie the series up with ones. Third period coming up after the break. Don't go anywhere, you're watching NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. And we're all set for the third period. Oilers and the Knights, ready for action. Hope you've been joining with us, and I have just really appreciated everybody who is really loving the game. Have a recap here for the second period. Your thanks, Lightbulb. All right, thank you so much. I was really sure enough that Whatever had happened right now, because of like, you know, that Skinner and their team are just really are trying to like get that what I was saying, but they're really like into a top pressure or priority. They just really have that one all in conscious ways. They're really getting this thing over and quickly and easily. This is not what they really wanted to do to try to like mess them. They really are trying to like get that one over it. and hopefully they can get another goal to get back in. What a stop by Eden Go. Back again. Shot saved by Gill. A two-time stop keeps on coming down for Aiden Hill. He's just going to have to be the next goaltender of the day of the night. Now they're ready to do another face-off here. It's still a 5-2 game for the Vegas Golden Knights. Now the win puts in for the Vegas Golden Knights. Moves along the half. Well, now find Bryson. Now again, Carlson shot, saved by Skinner. 
It's always happened now because they do not want to defend it like they did. Now here's the win here for the Mega School of Knights. He went down. Watch the still has to have him in there. And kind of bang, that's saved again by Skinner. You know, an easier way to do this one now. I mean, you're going to have a lot. You know, got to take a cover on that button because it's not going to happen like that. And you really need to be some allowed like a tip. Favor to favor. We're in your way. Down with the win to Bernard Vegas. Bernard Street gave you the mindset and shot this one to fucking off right toward the wall. Now again to Kane. 17 30 left to go in his third period. Looks again to shoot the arc and this one's missed out. Oh, what a great chance here. And now gets the nurse. Shoots up. Stop the battle with a double man in traffic territory. Well, there's no way that they're going to get an open man. They got to like try to keep on rolling it down. They got to like keep on watching him, try to find out who it is next. And her save comes up here by Kill. Gears comes with that, finds Barbershop. Barbershop lost that puck. This game will have it over again. White Cloud finds Zeros. He goes again. And now Stephenson will have that puck here. And now back to Emidio. Make something where communication and wake something happened here in the Oilers territory. Bumped it up by Skinner. Well, yeah, I mean, Skinner was like going really well on his top targets here. He might want to have it all down. But don't be like you do. You got that one coming by. Now here's a win for the Edmonton Oilers. As CC will have that puck now, finding again to Nurse. There's to fire the puck right to the slot. Hill makes a save. 15 34 to go in a third period. They're trailing by three. I was pretty like unsure if it was gonna ever happen. But now they really have to like keep on coming with the uh, double attackers and they really gotta keep on like working their offensive play in this bound. That means there's no way they can't do. They don't want to get that one whole heavy traffic out there. I'm not letting you um, go right into the seal, but I'm just um, probably making sure that there might be another way to do this. Well, hopefully there might be another way that can try to like save your day. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm sure this is what it is. Push the lucky luck. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll see what happens. But now I mean, we'll have it on the wing. Here's the pass. Peter's got it. Two on one fast break. Now over again. Right to McMahon. Shoots. Saved by Skinner. This one's going to stop for the whistle here. Get ready for another face off. Here for the team. And now they're ready to do again. Is there a way? Now Drysaddle will have that puck here right toward the middle. Tries to get the counter shot, saved again by Hill. Oh man, I, I mean, I don't know what you could say right now. I mean, this is what he would do. Try to keep that one in there, and then probably, you know what? I decided to bring the costume, but sometimes mask in there. When we start the film shooting here, I mean, that's gonna be a little bit different here. But for you guys who are on YouTube, yeah, we can definitely make a movie out of it. That will be great. A short shot, saved by Gill. 13.35 left to go in the third period. Still taking it off this time and get ready for an air face off. Off to an air face off win and now you guys at the full char. That shot saved me by Hill. Now back to Theodore, over now again to Potter. Goddard taking his own time. Pass it again to Pulsar and it's stopped by Skinner. Well, you know the easier fact right now because this one really has to be coming in there just to go right between from the defenders and the offenders. You're going to really have to like try to like practice that one. Um, when you play an offense, do the right timing. Now the wind puts up in four. Goes both teams. 
Here he comes, streaking in toward the middle, and this one stopped in the backhander by, by Aiden Hill. And now Cotter will have it. Got a shot, saved again by Skinner. 12, 15 left to go in the third period, and now he gets it to Jenkins. McNabb has to begin to Pulsar. Man, man, I was able to see what's going to happen if there's another choice in between. But there might not be one of them if you wanted to do this. Well, I, I basically really liked it. I mean, I was looking at it over to see what part is it going to be about. But as you can come along in, I mean, this will be like almost a finished project scene. Now with the shot saved in by Hill. 11.15 left to remain in third. Still lots of time left. Now ready for a critical draw here. Now for the win for the Cavalry Flames, he will now have it over again with his dad, or my dad, of course. Uh, so, I forgot about that. Marjasol trying to go in, he scores! That's another goal of the game, that's three in a row. This one stops it right now in the Grand Canyon. Yeah, when you're looking at it over here, I mean, that's what happens when you find a bigger spot of the angle. You really are picking up a lot of time effort and you're always good, do you? The, book, the Knights are back up by one. Now here's a win for these three for these sky lights. My pleasure would you. And here's Appleton. Loses that puck ranger down and now give again. Over back to the Edmonton side. Here's that for me. We'll have that puck here right over to get into Fojo. We'll tell you with that puck. He went slipping over. Just like I said, same thing, just like game one. Yeah, it's great enough. You can always recruit for somebody's help. And that might be one of them that you're going to get that one caught off your own life. Use Milano with a shot saved by Skinner. That's what nobody has ever seen like that. Shoot! Oh, that was like missed wide. And now he has it over. Shot saved by Aiden Hill. Now he finds it over. Back pass taken over by Marcus Salt. And now he gives a dry style shot. This one stopped again by Gill, and this one stayed out. Carlson has that puck now right into towards the right wing and in the left wing. I have something a little bit special for you guys. And in the meantime, we've got a lot of couple games coming in right now after this one. And it will be all for back to the Eastern Conference as 8 p.m. will start for the Oilers and the Lightnings. And, oh, yeah. And here's a shot. This one went wide up, but not for long. I Maybe mean, you had that goal. And you can see that frustration of what happened right now in the video. You just really didn't think he was gonna able to set that goal record right beyond. Ever since he really wanted to just try to be the NASCAR driver, I mean, you got to take some full responses to that one first. But just as you already noticed right now, that probably might be a stat, just went out of here and, and then go right towards it when it came from. But now, this time, as this one goes with the NHL, they are really like all over it. Picks it up again, right by Aaron. Now finding it over. Try to get him right now with the open pass look. A video with the puck now finding a shot, and this one saved again by Gill. You know, I was really, really getting that close. It may not be one of them with what's going on. We really have to keep on coming now. And that shot stopped again by Il sorry, Elizabeth Farkas. Another huge face-off win, and now one with the shot. This one's blocked up. CC will have it over to get a Kane. Kane shot, rebounded again. This one stopped by Kill. Let's say that. Oh, that was like a hard one. You know, the fighting on this one never matters to appeal. So they really have to do what they've got to do. 
Just keep on and going. If you could try to like keep up with another one, play towards yourself. Here's another take for you for the this Golden Knights. And now back again. Pritchard, Pritchard will have to take it over for our Skinner at 545 left to go. Shot stopped again by Picker. We haven't seen him playing here so long here in the Stanley Cup playoffs, but he wants to be playing in here with a second group lineup. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what he's telling you now, but this was not what they all expected it because if something happens now, they've got to get that one all over for us. And now finding our way. He's looking for more. Five minutes left to remain in the third period, and now Kane will have it. Okay, remember? Well, I don't know about it. Uh, I don't know about this guy, but uh, hopefully I might have to see what else uh, they can definitely go with this set. We do have an answer. Let's go get down to Paintbrush. Leon Dreisler, one of an amazing tape-to-tape -tape feed zones. He's been like kicking it in right now. He's excellent at it. He just tries to go with an open pass. Made him clearly work. I'll try to watch on him if there are any more games coming up. Right in between. You guys see a line sir, and that one stopped again here by Gill. That one's going to be a close call, and they're going to try to keep that one coming in there. Yeah, you don't want that, because if something happens here, then you're going to have a hard mark. Yep, nobody should take good care of it. Now he's never waiting here for the I'm sorry, for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. He went tumble down, just only four minutes remaining in third. Try to get one of the tactical scores, if he can, and now he's out of here. This is where it happens. I mean, the same thing must have happened with the fight. Sometimes it may have been a scrolling along the board. I mean, really tough to go clear. But it may not be that right idea of what they're going to go for. Not a way for the St. Louis Blues. He has tried one of his own very regular technique. Arkansas, and there's a score for Bryson. Oh, uh, that Bryson really would have to be out there for tomorrow. I mean, can't let that all happen. As we can call that goaltender, he really absolutely loves to take care of it. And as Bryson with his first goal, got a pretty good start. But coming down in the wire. Eight to two is your score with 3.44 left to go. Now he puts it in Eugene Hopkins down. He gives it over now again to Eugene Hopkins. Shot! This one's blocked. Tries to get that one over. Again, Eugene Hopkins. Again, the CC. And Theodore will have it. 3.10 left to go in the third period. Still looking for a more room to get there in front. And now that back over in the middle. This one has been knocked out. Cheeky, Kiki, he's got that one. CC, excuse me. He's got that fucking McLeod shot. Saved again by but hit. Excuse me, Jill. That's what everyone has been calling for. They say, get, get. I mean, hey, I know you're trying to fix it up. You'll be alright. Two minute penalty kill, and the power play is over for the Edmonton Oilers. And now they're going to bring the, uh, the Vegas Golden Knights to get right into the power play. Now the Oilers will have their first play advantage for the power play, and now this will be the next one to start things off. You'll get on one minute in, in between, but as of now, this is where it happens, it gets in the way. Then right now, Vegas Golden Knights are still working on his way to defending champion since 2023, but hopefully, they probably might be next year, 2024. Well, I hope this will be. The media's got that puck here right towards the angle of it. And a shot, this one saved off by another look of the uh, pay strikes. Pichard has that one with an R save, and Gagner will go right back the other way. Shot to take, saved by Gill. Passing a minute and a half mark in a third period. This is like, 
Oh, I don't believe it. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty agreed on that when you made. I don't know what to tell you, but hey, we got that all covered now. Another winner puts up here for the Golden Knights. 523 left to go in, eight. in the third period. Now finds again the Fedor. He's now one Fedor shot, and this one goes wide off the mark. And now Bouchard will have it over. Final seconds in the third period in a minute, and this one is going to be a start one to take over with the Vancouver win and Vegas win. Fedor trying to block the arc, and this one saved it off by Shesterkin. They gotta really like go over this again. I mean, they are really trying to keep that one out of the string, but let's keep on that going. Choose it again. This one saved it off here by Hill. Down to 30 seconds in the third period. Last minute remaining as the power play is finished for Vegas Golden Knights. Yeah, it seemed like it did get a trick. I mean, they were doing really well, but unfortunately, I don't think your team is not gonna get there that close. Vegas moving on from and this one shot went wide. Final possession for the Oilers, and that one goes off. And that's all she wrote, partner. Final score is 8-2 as the Vegas Golden Knights beat against the Edmonton Oilers. Yeah, sad to say now, I mean, they're really like all over him. Because of Aiden Hill, he just really got it all coming in. Great playoff, great run. Along with me, Terry, Terry with, um, with along with me, Boomer, and then it's, of course, it's Test 2, Terry Lipo, and of DJ Beast. This has been a presentation of the NHL's EA Sports. Thank you, everybody. All right, thank you so much. We start with Alex Portrangelo with the two assistant six hits, Agent Aiden Hill with 57 saves, and your first star player of the night goes out to all for you. Jonathan Marcus sold with three goals, two assists, and five hits. The total statistics are right in between 64 over 59, 57 over 44 gets for Edmonton Oilers, and 705 over 656 for the Vegas Golden Knights. 92 percentage of the Edmonton over Vegas for the passing effectiveness. 34 over 19 for Vegas Golden Knights. Then it was two minute penalty kill it was four minutes for Edmonton Oilers, and we had the power play advantage up again. So that is definitely it. And I hope you all enjoyed this one. Well, don't worry, we'll stick around here for the other side of it, as Terry Cruz will be in the background. And you may never know once you can guess that one in there. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NHL on EA Sports 24 dial. This is Terry Cruz. We'll see you all later for the next game. Time for some musical chairs. Take care, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.